This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Welcome once again. I'm going to talk to you this update called God's Supernatural Transfer of Sinners Wealthy to the Righteous. God is going to transfer the wealth of the sinners to the righteous, to, the, to you. Lord is going to transfer the wealth of Raban to you. You know, Raban, Raban stands wicked boss, wicked manager, satanic manager. You work, but they don't promote you. They don't give you anything. They don't recognize you. The time is coming when God is going to take their wealth and transfer to you. Hallelujah. That is how it is. 2017 is a year of victory and prosperity. That's why I'm preaching this. I will be speaking this topic. God will help us. It is a big one. So I helped. I, I, I will be talking to you, prepare to you the first week, the first month, so that you can be ready to, be, to, to, to get this money, to get this wealthy. It is, it is one to be transferred supernatural, supernatural wealthy will be transferred to your bank account, will be transferred. It is not lie because God does not lie. Only those who are believe, uh, uh, I've said all the time, uh, obedience is better than sacrifice. If you cannot obey, don't sacrifice. Don't give because you are, you are, you are giving will backfire. You have to obedient. You have to obey. You have to obey and you know where you give your seats. I, I, I've seen people playing games with me because they, they, they have mentality that the pastors, they are after money, they are talking about the money, money. Yes, they talk about money because they want you to be blessed. I am not that pastor. Maybe you think that I'm talking about money, money. I'm preparing for you. By the end of this year, as I said, some of you, you will own your own house, your own home. You will never be renting a place. You will have your own car. Good one. Good car. There's no need to children of the devil driving Mercedes Benz, BMW, those Chago, those good car. And you a child of God, you are driving the, the car which is crying tears. You know, <laughs> your car, your car, it needs a bush to study. Yeah? And you are a child of God. It is not going to happen so. <laughs> All this wealth they have, it is going to be transferred to you. Be ready to receive it in Jesus' name. It is true, it is going to be transferred. That that manager, that company, that big company that you are working, they don't recognize you. They don't they don't see anything good you are doing there. God is going to take their wealth and transfer to you. It happened in the Bible. You will be surprised. It happened. You will see the scripture. What happened? God transferred the wealth of that. The, the, the boss and give it to the to the person who was working for him. Let's look in the book of uh, Genesis 31, verse 9. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Supernatural death cancellation will come there. But for now, we want to God transfer first the wealthy. Let's look in the book of Genesis 31, verse 9. Amen. Yes, go ahead, my sister. Yeah. That God has taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. Repeat again. Thus God has taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. So God has taken away the livestock of your father and given them to me. Now, when, ja when, when, when Jacob worked in the house of Rabban, for 20 years, 10 years, the man decreased his wages, cut off his wages. 10, 10 years. 10 years, the man was destroying. He didn't want to see Jacob with anything. He, instead of uh, promotion, instead of, of increase, he was cutting. He, he, he was taking away. He was cutting his wealth. Now, God told Jacob, if you look at the book of Genesis 31, verse 1 to 6. Can you go there and see? I want you to get the whole story before we go to verse 9. Sister, up, read that, the same scripture, 31, verse 1. Okay, so Genesis 31, verse 1 says, mm -hmm. And he heard the words of the 
son, saying, Jacob had taken away all that was a father's, and of that which was a father's, has he gotten all this glory? Yes. Now, now Jacob heard the words of Rab and his sons, saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, and from what was our father's, he has acquired all this wealthy. And Jacob saw the contents of Raban, and indeed it was not favorable, favorable to, to, toward him as before. Then the Bible says, Then the Lord said to Jacob, Return to the land of your fathers, to your family, and I will be with you. God is going to be with you. You know Jacob ran away from his brother, Ezel, because of what he did. Now, after Jacob humbled himself and worked so hard, then the, and then Raban, where, where the angle, he was the angle. And then he, he, he heard them that, that the, the, his sons were complaining and thinking that Jacob has taken their wealth. Now, verse 4, what does the Bible say? Verse 4 says, And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto his flock. Mm -hmm. Continue. And said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before. The God of my father has been with me. Yes. Yes. Okay, continue. And you know that with all my power I have served your father. Mm hmm and your father has deceived me yes. and changed my wages ten times. Yes, verse seven. Your father has as your father has deceived me and changed my wages ten times. But God did not allow him to hurt me. So the Bible says, continue, sister. And if he he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. Mm -hmm. And if he said thus, the ring street shall yes. be thy hire, yes. then bear all the cattle ring street. Okay. Nine. Amen. Fast nine. Thus, thus God has taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. Yes, God has taken away the livestock, the cattle of your father and give them to me. God will give the wealth of the, the, your boss, that is your company, your manager, because they have cut off your, your wages, they never promote you, they never give you anything, the time has, has, has come when God will transfer their wealth to you. Look at that, what it happened. It is God who transferred the wealth of Rabban to, Je to, 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 to Jacob. Your Rabban will die. Your Laban will be scattered. Your Laban your will go down and you will go up. You have been faithful. You work up so hard. You work up very hard in the morning. You are there faithful. You have never been recognized. You have never been in. Your wages has never been increased. Your time has come when God will take the wealth of that company and transfer it to you. That is what happened in the Bible. When I was studying this last night, I said, yes. Yes, God is God. Is going to transfer. He did to Jacob. He will do to you too. Hallelujah. My God. We want to thank you that you will transfer the wealth of the wicked. Because they are so wicked. They don't care. You work for them. But instead they cut your wages. They, they, they fire you. They leave you empty handed. But not this year. Anywhere you are working. You, you be aware that you will be. The wealth of the wicked will be transferred. And to be given to you in Jesus' name. Let's look in another 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 scripture from the book of Proverbs 13, verse 22. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Proverbs 13, verse 22 reads, A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Yes. You know here, a good man leaveth an inheritance of his children's children, and wealth of the sinners is laid upon for the justice, for the righteous. Yeah? The wealth of the sinners will be laid upon you, upon me. I said that 
that, that some of you, some of some some people, they work so hard, they they don't have anything to leave to their children. Children, they have nothing. They work up to, to 70 years. You are supposed to retire 55, 65, but because you, you, you have nothing, when you go home, you have nothing, so you continue working, working, because of the enemy, because of the enemy. But now, the wealth of the, of, of the, 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 the wealth of the sinners will be transferred to justice, to people who are justice. Justice means that you have to be obedient. Yes, you can't be working like that way. I, when I started teaching this message, some people were offended. They think that they are mocking them. I'm not mocking you, please. I'm helping you so that to, 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 be, to, 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 to live from where you are. I am helping you so that your money will be healed. I'm helping you so that you can come out from that wicked company where you are treated like a slave. I'm, I'm praying that God would, I'm helping you so that you can be able to start saving your money in Jesus' name. I'm not mocking anybody. It is truth. You know, there's children of the devil that has been assigned. They are listening only negative. They don't listen for good stuff. Yeah? Like us in Africa, we talk. Sometimes I may say the word which you don't like. I'm not mocking you or challenge you. I'm, I'm seriously, I, I'm myself and I fear God and I love God so much. I'm not here to challenge you or to mock you, but I'm here to help you. This is a deliverance and healing ministry. For example, if your certificate has been poo, all has been urinated, so that is how they do. They do They do that. They sit down. So those words, when I use them, don't be offended. I'm helping you. In the spiritual realm, that is what they do. They can bury your certificate in the grave. They can bury your, your gift, your talent on the grave. Or they can sit on you, just sitting on you. Or, or on, when you go to the bed, they will come and sleep on, on top of you. They press you. When you wake up, you find you are, yourself heavy. You can't even wake up. You feel like somebody was beating you. They come and lay on you. So when I use those words, don't be offended. Don't be angry. I'm helping you. Yes, God is God. Now, the Bible tells us that a good man leaveth an inheritance to his children, children, his children. A good man, a good man. Not an evil man. Not a child of the devil. Because a good man is a man of God. He's a woman of God. Not a woman of, of, of the devil or a woman of, 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 of or a man of, of the devil. Remember, what you will do, it will help your children, children. That is what it is. And when you prepare your children, they will help this inheritance and you, you will serve them. You will serve their life. They will not struggle. They will not go through what your, your parents go, went through in Jesus' name. Yes, God has immeasurable wealth to reverse for his use priority to the second coming of Jesus. Not just for the church, but they will be, uh, they will be, they will be wealthy transfer. Both oil, both minerals, and around even the Dead Sea. All the, those companies who humble themselves, who are supporting the work of God. Companies who are giving to the ministries, who are supporting the ministry. Their, their company is going to grow. Some companies are going to be closed down, even banks. But the church, the company that they honor God with their 10%, they will prosper. While the famine crisis is going to come, them they will prosper and they will not feel any, 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 any impact. Uh, let's look in the book of, of uh, Deuteronomy 8, verse 6 to 18. The book of Deuteronomy 6, Deuteronomy 8, verse 16 to 18. The, the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 8, 16 to 18. Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy 8, verses 16 to 18 reads, Who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee, to do thee good at thy latter end. Yes. Who fed thee in the wilderness with the manna, which thou father knew not, they might humble thee, and they and that he might prove thee to do to do thee good at the late days, late ends. You know, 
God supernaturally he rained manna from the, the, the from heaven and he feed the children of Israel in the wilderness. That's why God is able to transfer the wealth of the wicked to your hands. If God provide food from nowhere, zero, the, the children of Israel were in the wilderness. They didn't know what to do there. They, they depend on God. So when you are, you are depending on God, for sure, he will do the same thing that he did to the children of Israel. He provide, he fed them. He fed them with the food. Manna were coming from heaven and everyone was satisfied. They were in, they eat hot one. Manna from heaven. They are hot cooked. Temperature hot that they were eating. Now, continue, sister. Amen. And thou say in thine heart, my power and the might of my, my hand have gotten me this wealth. Yes. But thou yes, yes. You know, now, some people, when they get wealthy, they will think that that what is their the power. It's their power they get wealth. It's not power. It's not your power. It is God. It's, it's power. God has promised this, and it doesn't change. Continue, my sister. Amen. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day yes now it is the power thou but the thou shall remember the lord that god for it is he that gave it the power anointing to get wealthy that he may establish his covenant money as a mission in the heart to go to to the world and establish God's covenant of God's love, blessings, kindness, mercy, and peace. Nothing missing. God, God, money has power. It is the power, you see, it is the power of God to give you money, to make you wealthy. It is the power of God. You don't have to be poverty. You don't have to be miserable. You don't have to have a financial problem. And it is the power of the Father to give you wealthy. It is the power of God to give you wealth because it's supernatural. He's able. He will create ideas that will bring you money and everyone will say, yes, God has blessed you. God has a ways of providing you with his, his financial miracle. He will transfer a supernatural miracle. I know here where we work, here where we live in Brampton, there was a lady I used to pray with that. When we started our ministry, we started right in our house. We started our ministry in our, in our house. We prayed and we prayed in our house and then we moved it to the recreation center. This girl, she was, a, a, she was working in a post office. Now, she, uh, uh, she was supposed to be a manager, but the, 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 the director manager decided to demote her and brought another another person. Now she was training that manager. She trained the manager who is becoming our manager. Now that manager abused her, abused her so much, so much. The manager was so wicked. Now what happened? The, that manager was fired, and that lady, that girl, she was promoted. She became a manager immediately. When she became a manager, she hired her own daughter and uh, and. Uh, 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 and uh, and uh, and um, I think yeah she uh, she 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 hired her, her daughter and the rest of the family immediately. You see now because it is the power of God to remove the wicked manager, the wicked directors, the wicked supervisor that does not want you to go. God would make you God. God it is the power of God to make you wealthy, to be make you to have more more money. In a, at workplace, wherever you are working, any business you are doing, it is the power of God to make you wealthy. Your business will make you wealthy. Your, your job where you are working will make you wealthy. Because it is the power of God. If you are working and you are crying, money is not enough. You are sad. You are trying to do it so much. You don't have time to God. I'm telling you, the devil is a liar. Because it is the power of God. God will create, God will give you one idea. That would move mountains. When I came here, I started working and I was a minister. And then I asked myself, 
Why should I do this and I was a minister? Why should I? Because I made a covenant that I will not do any work apart from the work of God. I said, and I, I said, God, now I saw that I'm killing myself. I'm not going anywhere. I get good jobs. I was a consultant in a business firm. I was uh, I, I, I was uh, working with World World Vision as a as a as a counselor. I, I am satisfied counselor. So I I was working. I started with McDonald's because you you have a place to study with first. Then you can move from there. Now all this, I was I was paid well, but I said something is not right. This all of these I'm paid well, but I don't have money. Because I can't see, it is I, like I'm working for nothing. And then I, I said, God, I want to start something for you. And that is how God said, okay, come back. I reverse it, I repent it. And then I, I resign. I went and I signed and I started the ministry. From that day, day, I've never regretted. God has been very faithful to me. God has been very faithful to me. Yeah, I've seen money. God has blessed, has blessed people in my life to bless me and bless the work of God. Yes. So I pray that God will, will bless you. God, it is God's power. It is God's power to make you wealthy. Go there and meditate in, but because God does not, does not lie. Now, if you see the book of, uh, of, 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 of Isaiah, 44, Isaiah 54, verse 10. Amen. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord, that has mercy, mercy on thee. Yes. Which is swear unto the fathers as it is this day. You know, our God is a massive God. He will never lie. He has mercy. Even if your sin is like lead, like, like blood. God always remember his covenant. And once you come and, and, and you start talking to him, you ask him to repent, he will have mass on you. He doesn't have any favorism. He doesn't, he doesn't care who you are. God is God of mercy. And he's a God who will help you as he has promised that he will never fail you or he will never forsake you. He's a massive God. We need to focus on God. This year needs to focus. This year you must you must you must write down your goal to what you will achieve in Jesus' name. Let's look in the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes two verse twenty six. Amen. For God giveth to a man that is good in his sight wisdom and knowledge and joy, but to the sinner he giveth travail to gather and to heap up, that he may give to him that is good before God. This also is vanity and vexation of spirit. <laughs> God is good. This is the scripture. The word of God is very good. The Bible says, For God gave it to a man that is good in his sight, wisdom and knowledge and joy. But to the sinners, he gave it to well. The job to gather and to help up, gathering great abundance that he may give to him. That is good before God. God has given and saved who operate in, in Babylon, a system of world commercial, the job to gather and help and untold three millions of dollars. That is people for the great harvest of soul in, in these last days. So God is God. For God, for God gave it to a man that is good in his sight. For God give to the man, for, for God, for God gave it to a man that is in his, his side, good in his side. God, for God gave it to a man that is good in his side, wisdom and knowledge and joy. So God is going to give you wisdom. Is going to give you knowledge. Is going to give you joy, to enjoy your money, to enjoy your wealth. You cannot get a, a, a wealthy with the sorrow, with the pain, with the condition. His wealthy is 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 does not have sorrow. The blessings of God does not add any sorrow. You cannot cry. You cannot regret. You cannot be angry the way you are angry at that place of work. When God is is, is angry. 
is in you because he loves you and he give you the, the knowledge and the wisdom because he, 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 you are good to him. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. If you are good to God, he will give you. Yes. Yes, that's true. My God is good. If your God is not good, then look that God, God of Jacob, God of uh, God of Jacob. He gave you wisdom because he said, for God gave it to a man that is good in his sight. God give wisdom, knowledge, and joy to the man who is good in his sight. If you are good in the sight of God, you don't have to worry. Do right things. Many, many, what happened to many people is that they, some people, they give with the, with the attitude, they give maybe they want the 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 the, 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 the favor, or they want to uh, dominion or dominate people. You you, Hallelujah! Praise be the name of Jesus. God, I thank you, Jesus. God, you are good. Yes, God always give. When you give to God, you give to God with one heart. You just give to God, expecting a miracle, expecting that God will help you. Not that you are giving with the attitude you want to control, dominating, bribing. You, God, God knows how you are, you are giving. You give because you want to take over, to dominion, to take dominion, to 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 to, to, to rule. Yeah, you know some some people they go and bribe the pastor. They give punch of money so that the pastor cannot talk anything. You can't say anything, and they do everything evil. They come to the church with witches and wizards. The pastor can never mention anything. They are, they go to they come from the lodging with the prostitutes straight to the church. The pastor can never say anything, even if they mess up. The pastor will never say anything because they are because of their giving and tithing. I'm telling you, me, I'm preparing you to go to heaven, not to go to hellfire. My ministry is here to prepare you to go to heaven and go to heaven when you are wealthy. When you are you live to your children, children is wealthy. And 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 when you go to heaven, you will go and God will kiss you and say, Thank you, my daughter. Because in heaven, you know also you when you give to the kingdom of God, you are preparing your heaven, and your heaven will be having a mansion house where you will go and live. I'm telling you that here uh People will not like me or like this prayer, but the truth of the matter is that there is power changing, that God will change you. I may be using very strong words, but don't charge me. Don't charge them. I'm not mocking you or, or challenging you. Or I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you, 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 I'm not saying, you, you, I'm not uh, here to mock anybody. I'm helping you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Matthew 5 verse 5. Matthew 5, 5 to 5. The Bible says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Yes, blessed are the meek. For those who are well dependent on God, for they shall help the earth and it is riches. You will help the heart with it is riches. The riches of the earth, the riches of this world belongs to you. That's why God says he will transfer them. Because this is Jesus said, Jesus said, blessed are the meek, for they shall help the earth. You will help everything in this earth, the best thing you will help in Jesus' name. You cannot let the children of the devil to enjoy things and you, you, are, you, you, are, you, you have nothing. You rent a, a, a house of the, the child of the devil where they worship idols. You, you live in the idol's house. Now, in, because you have no alternative, there is nothing you can do. People who are worshipping idols, Satan, children of the devil, that's the house you live. Because they, you have nothing, and you can't do anything. And you live there years and years. We would ask God to transfer all those houses to be the, to, to be the children of God, and, do you, and, they, and, and they would rent them. Children of God would have a place to rent to, to godly people, not children of the devil. That you are giving your money there. That's your money. That's why your money cannot stand. It cannot stay because you are giving your your money to satanic bank, satanic manager, and you can't even you can't pray properly because on the top maybe you are living in the basement or next room. That the owner is a witch or a or or, or another or a devil worshippers or, or idol worshippers. 
or a, 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 an unbeliever that it does not who, who is the enemy of God. I pray that God would help you to get wealthy and help the earth with all their riches, with the, all their wealthy and, and, and riches in Jesus' name. And now, here, the Bible says in the book of uh, Proverbs 5, verse 9 to 15. Proverbs 5, verse 9 to 15. Yes, go ahead, my sister. Amen. Let thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. Let strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at the last, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed. They say, how I have hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof, and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear unto them that instructed me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I think I confessed that the scripture a little bit. Uh, it is Proverbs, uh, uh, hallelujah, where they say, the honor the Lord with your, your substance. Is it the Proverbs? Uh, I, I, because I, I, my head was full. Oh, don't worry. Yes. I have a hymn. Yes, okay. yes, yes. You are reading something else, I think. Yes. Yes. Proverbs 3, verses 9 to 15. Yes. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. Yes. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Amen. Stop my there. Son. Stop there. The Bible says, Honor the Lord with the substance. Give do, do, honor the Lord with your substance. Honor the Lord with your substance. Honor the Lord with your substance. Give overing with the fruit, the first fruit. Died the first fruit, ten percent of all the increase. That is what the Bible says. Now, as we are beginning the first year, the, the first the first month, the first the first month of the year. Now you will prepare a special offering the first month. Honor the Lord with the substance. Give offering and with the first fruits, tithe the first 10% of all the increase. That is how God will move. That's how God will move. If you want God to transfer your wealth, transfer the sinner's wealth to you, you honor God with, with your first fruit offering. You have to prepare fast fruit offering. You will, we are taking the, we are taking our fast fruit offering at the end of this month, the end of January, of the first week of February. We'll take the, our first uh, our first offering fruit. But if you have, you can go ahead and start giving, and you will see when you give your fast fruit offering. I will pray for you. I will fast for ten days and praying for you. And you will see the wealth of, of, of the sinners will be transferred to, your, you, you, to you. Now, verse 10. Amen. So shall thy bar barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Yes. So shall thy pans fulfilled with the plenty, then what of tithing and being rich do as God with, with, the, with the, our offering and the presence and the press and the presses shall plus out with the new wine. Uh, continue fast 13. Amen. Happy is the man that hath wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Yes, happy oh. is the man that finds wisdom, and and the, and the man that gather understanding. You know, God says that He will give you wisdom and knowledge, and here is happy. Who has wisdom and understanding? When you have wisdom and understanding of how you give your tithe and offering, and especially fast fruits, the first, the first fruit, the first fruit offering, that is how you are. You can understand that it is good to give your tithe and offering your first fruit. That's that's why the Bible says, uh, God will say, "Prove me and see if I will not open the windows of heaven." Don't go and give your tithe to satanic bank, to evil places where the beds of air will come and grab it and take it. Where you, the devil will be dancing and say, thank you, you are blind. You just have understanding of your giving and, and, and have knowledge of your, your giving and understanding. Uh, verse 14. 
For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. Yes. Continue. She is more precious than rubies, mm -hmm. and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Okay, continue. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The wisdom of God, which is understood and acted upon, upon will bring both riches and honor and the wrong life. That's what it is. Now, you see, uh, for the merchandise, it, for it is better than the merchandise of silver and the grain thereof that find gold. She is more precious than Robias, and of the things that has cast desire and not to be compared unto thee. Now, you see, the wisdom of God, when it is under understood and acted upon, will bring both riches and honor and wrong life. That is how it is. You will have long life, first of all, when you understand the riches and the wealth of God. Because you, it is not the wealth that will strain you. The wealth that does not bring you sickness and diseases, headache. It is from God, which does not have any sorrow. God will bless you the blessings that does not have any condition. You don't have to be pressed you, 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 that to give. You know what you are doing. We are not asking you to give what you don't have to give. You honor him, give what you have. You can tithe, you can give your tithe what you get. You can give special sacrifice over him. I've said if you have, no, you have not built an altar, prepare an altar now. It's your time to prepare an altar for prayer. And God will transfer your wealth easily. If you, you are obedient, 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 obedient is better than sacrifice. If you are not obeyed, don't, don't, don't sacrifice, don't give, because it will backfire. If you are the person who criticizes, who, who are there to pick when the pastor is saying this, you are, you are, you are twisting. You know, there's demonic anointing people who are twisting words. When pastor is saying something, they twist it. I remember one politician. He was very, very powerful politician. He, he said one word. That word, satanic anointing, who knows how to twist. He twisted, the man lose the job, and that was the end of his, his career. I was in England. There was a popular, a very known man in England, PPC. He used to comment some funny comments. But he, one day, he commented something about Muslim. The following day, all Muslim worldwide went to strike, went on the streets, and that man lost his career, and he was charged. Yeah, because the satanic anointing twister. If it, if they if they hear the word like this, they twist it because they are anointed by the devil. Therefore, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, any satanic anointing twisting word of God or a word of the pastor, let them be vanished in Jesus' name. Now. You are giving and your tithe will be straight from your heart. Not that you are, you are giving and complaining. You will see the hand of God. Remember wisdom and knowledge. That is what is, God is talking about. Now, so Isaiah 60 verse 1. Isaiah 60 verse 1. What does the Bible say? Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Yes. Arise and sign, for the right has come and the glory of God is rise upon thee. Glorious, including is wealthy. When you are when you are wealthy, you will sign. I'm telling you, people will see you different. You not like you are, do you know wealthy people how they sign? They look good. You are you can be even a hundred years, but you look young, you look smart, you look good. You will sign. You are because of the wealth transfer. You will be signing. You look good. Even when you pass people, they give you away they, because they know the wealth is passing here. They, you smell wealthy. And I want you to live in wealthy. Yeah, I want you to live in your own apartment, your own house, where you don't share with anybody, where you can come and shout and pray like here I can dance and shout. I leave my things here and I found it. No one will, will come to touch it unless I invite the person in my house. Yeah? Now, you see... You need to live that such a good life where you pay your mortgage without straining, without worrying. You, you are car, you pay cash without worrying. You, you don't have to worry. 
you are great this loving at you is happy you 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 just go and kiss it the bank manager call when you are there they call you and say come and have a cup of tea with us yeah when those cashier sees you they they everyone don't want to serve you because they know you are you are wealthy and you will have more friends but if you are poor you know even your neighbors even your own brother will reject you they don't want you nobody wants you because that one is is, is an enemy is an enemy of god God does not want to live such a life. You will shine. The, this year, 2017, is a year to shine. You will be shining. You drive a new car. All those second and uh, hold, hold car, they will go where they came from. You will you drive new cars. You will wear new clothes. Those clothes you have been wearing all years, all every day, they are, they are, they are, they are changing the car. Now is your time to give it away or throw it in the garbage and get new things. Change your house, get everything new. It is your time to shine. This is not that I'm not mocking, I'm mocking you. So you say, because she, she's having all. No, God is going to transfer wealth. Your money, you will see your money. Even if you have $100 with the blessings of God, you will do great, a lot of stuff. One of my sister, my daughter, she went to the store and found a jacket of $250. She got with the, uh, uh, $225, a jacket of $200, $250, she got a $25. My sons went to the store, shoes, which is costing $100, she end, he ended up getting $20. That's how you are, you are blessed. Now you see, $100, your hand, $100 will do a lot of stuff because it's a blessing. God will give you favor everywhere you go. You are you are hundred dollars would cost would buy a lot of stuff. Where the sinners or other people uh would, would they would cost them five hundred up to a one thousand with you they would cost you two hundred dollars. That's how the blessings of God is. Do you know some people can go to the store? Uh one one day I went to the store here in, in Brampton where we live we, we live. I was I like it, the, the dress so much. I like it, I like that dress, and I said I wish, but the dress was expensive. The dress was $130. So this woman, she was a manager, store manager. She said, okay, I think I will do something for you. Then she went and do the computer to the computer. And then eventually she told me pay $50. Yeah, you see? Now, that was a favor of God. That was a favor of God. So when God favors you, you will be shining. You will be shining. Yeah? All those things which promote the devil, get, let them get out of your, your house. All those chairs you have been having in, in your house, years and years, change them. God will help you. Action, faith, go for it. God is here to make you to shine. You will change in Jesus' name. Now, I pray that it, let the Lord transfer your wealth of Laban to you. Laban is a demonic manager. He's an evil person who does not want you to have anything. A great man who look at you, look at all your wealth all the time. Now let's look at the book of uh, the book of Psalm sixty six, verse twelve. The book of Psalm sixty six, verse twelve. Amen. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. Amen. Thou has caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou brought us out into wealthy praise. Wealthy praise. God is going to take you to the wealthy praise. You will ride over the head. You will ride over all those who are ahead of you. Those who are ahead of you, you will overtake them. You will become ahead. You will become ahead, not the tail. And God will brought you into the place of wealthy. Look at your Bible. God himself, the word of God is true. It's life. He will cause men to ride over our heads. He will, he will, he will ride over, over, over the head of, of those who have gone ahead of you. You will overtake them. You will be the head, not the tail. You are a king. You are a ruler in the name of Jesus. God will, brought you, God will bring you to the place of prosperity. A place where you feel good. Not a place where you cry and cry and cry where you are you feel bitter. God will change your life to, to turn again, to turn to, to your to favor you in, in, a, in a, for your circumstances. It doesn't matter. Do you know some people? God loves you. God loves you so much. 
Do you know you, you don't you don't you don't pit of your ground your background your education? Don't worry about that. If God is with you, who can be against you? If God is with you, who can be against with you? No one will condemn you because of your background, because of your education. No one because of your pronunciation, because of your ac the accent. No one will condemn you. If anybody challenge you, condemn you, is 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 attacking God, and God will not watch that. God will come for you. We thank God that God will transfer the wealth of the wicked into your hand. He will, press, he, will pray, he will bring you to the place of wealth. Meditate that scripture. Now, let's look at the book of Exodus 12, verse 28. Exodus, Exodus 12, verse 28. Amen. Exodus 12, verse 28 reads, And the children of Israel went away, and did as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. Yes. The children of Israel went away and did so, just as God, God has commanded Moses and Aaron. So they did. So as I'm commanding you, as I'm talking to you, you have to obey. Children of uh, members of Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, they always obey. No one is disobeying. disobeying. Everyone is obeying. If you are following this ministry, and you need the blessings of God. You have to follow and you have to do what I'm telling you. When the children of, 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 of Israel did what Moses told them, what God says, they were prosper. They, 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 it went well with them. So if you want anything to go well with you and you are following our ministry and you are following me, give your best, give your first fruit, give to the, our ministry, support this ministry. You will see how God is going to bless you. I will be fasting and calling you individual, no matter how many you have. You are. I will meet you and pray for you. I will present your offering to the altar, and I will pray until heaven will be open for you to receive the blessings of God, for you to get the transfer of the wealth. I that is my work. I, but if you are going to not to to obey and you are following this prayer, you can follow them, but they will be useless for you if you are not supporting this ministry. I'm telling you. The people, some people, they sent me offering. I've never talked to them, but because they listen to the prayers, they listen to the videos, and they decide to give. Therefore, I pray that God will help you and obey. Obey, obedience is better than sacrifice. This year, it needs people. If you will be a giver, if you are a giver this year, at the end of the year, 31st January, 31st December, you will be having a big testimony. One lady... She was taking a lot of medication, a lot, a lot of medication. And she was told that medication she will take forever. Yesterday, she called me. She told me, you know, uh, prophetess, I've not told you this. You know, do you know I don't take any medication and I'm not sick? I'm healed totally. See how much she, the man, she was saved from money and she has healed physically and, and mentally. She is well, 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 well healed. Now, if you if you pay, she she doesn't live here, but she's so always very faithful with her tithe and offering. She always send her offering. She sent her offering every time. And now you, you shall follow the Exodus twelve verse twenty eight that what God commanded Moses and Aaron, the children of Israel did. So you will do. Children, the 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 members of Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. The family of overcomers, uh, deliverance and healing ministry will do so in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'm going to pray for you. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. Let the doors and the gates of 2017 open to you now. Let the doors, all the wealthy doors, wealth of windows of heaven, let it open in 2017 in Jesus' name. I decree. In 2017, the blessings of the Lord shall flow like a river into your home in the name of Jesus. I pray to you, I decree by the degree of heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, that in 2017, the blessings of the Lord shall flow like a river unto your home in Jesus' name. These blessings will follow like a river when you obey, when you are giving. It will not follow like a river if you don't give. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Every agenda of the enemy concerning affairs of your life in 2017 
will be completely destroyed in Jesus' name. Will be completely, completely destroyed in Jesus' name. Any hidden agenda, any evil agenda of the enemies concerning your affairs, concerning you, concerning your children, concerning your family, 2017 shall be completely destroyed in Jesus' name. Anyone throwing power from the heavens against you, from the heavens, from the water, from the from the liver, from the earth, against you and your family, they will die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enchantment and divination against your family, against your head, against your life and your family shall perish, shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In this year, 2017, you shall not suffer lucky in the name of Jesus. 2017, you shall not suffer lucky. You will render. You will not pour to eat. You shall not pour to eat. You will be a lender. You will have. You will never lack in Jesus' name. 2017, it is the year that you will never lack. You will never pour. You will be having sufficient all the time. Your, 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 your bank will be having, even saving. You will be start saving in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord, the Lord will transfer the wealth of Raban to your life, to you. The wealth of the bank, the wealth of the company, the wealth of your place where you are working, it is going to be transferred to you in Jesus' name. Let all those who hate your prosperity be put to a shame and be destroyed in Jesus' name. Satanic enemies who hates you, to your, your prosperity, who does not want you to, to prosper, they shall be destroyed. Uh, the book of uh, Isaiah 54 verse 17 said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So no weapon formed against the enemy that will, will be against your prosperity. It will not prosper. The weapon of the enemy will not prosper in your life in Jesus' name. I bind and I bind every word spoken against your, your breakthroughs in Jesus' name. I bind and destroy every arrow of poverty and I command them to go where it came from in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every business house energizing by Satan, I, holding you up, I command them to be destroyed in Jesus' name. You will not go to any satanic business that Satan is holding. You will not go to any satanic investment where Satan, Satan is operating. You will not enter into a business where the demons and Satan are operating. God will locate you and give you the right job, the right place that you will go to get to work in Jesus' name. I pray that God will deliver you from any job, any satanic company or an assassin that wants to hire you to do wicked and evil with them in Jesus' name. I destroy every clock and timetable of poverty in your life. In the name of Jesus, I destroy every clock and, and timetable of poverty. Every clock of timetable of, of poverty. There is a time that you, you, you find yourself, you are, you are broke. You have nothing. You start going to borrow. That clock and timetable of Satan make you that time. The time when you have nothing. You just thinking of going to Polo. You just thinking, asking people. I am praying that clock and timetable. Let it catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Let men and women rush wealth to your doors. Women and men of God, people, evil people, wherever they are, they rush wealth into your, into your door because the Bible says they will be transferred wealth in Jesus' name. I reject the temporary blessings. Any temporary blessings that will come to you. You know some people. There are these satanic where the pastors, false prophets, they preach about prosperity, prosperity. You give, then you get the leave blessings. So you can see some blessings for a few months, few days, and then disappear. That's not God. That is demon blessings that will relieve you. Like when you go to witch doctor, they will take away sickness and bless another one. Now you go back and say, my headache, it's gone, but I have something in my, my, my stomach. That is how it works. So satanic false prophets who preaches about prosperity, you can see being relieved a little bit. You can see something good is coming for a few months. Then the, the, that month, they, they have taken all their money back. You will not have anything. You lose everything. You will take everything back. But God has said, it is his power to make you wealth. God cannot give you and take it. It is you. Yes, God can give you and take it, but when, when, when you are repairs, when you have done something wrong, but I'm talking this 
that when 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 I'm talking this that when this false prophet preach it to you about prosperity, they say a thousand, give a thousand or one hundred, you can sacrifice to give, then you will be lived in a little way, in a little, and then it will they will take it. They will come and take everything. And then you remain poor. You remain you lose. You end up going to beg people even the, the bread to eat. That's not God. It is a power of darkness. It's the power of the enemy. And I pray that God will destroy that temporary blessings from the from the enemy. God will give you permanent, permanent blessings that you does not have the end sorrow. I reject and I reject, I, I reject and I command every temporary blessings that will come to your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father. I give you all the glory. Every hour of poverty. In the name of Jesus, I destroy them and I bind them. I lend them powerless in Jesus' name. I pray let the, the power change your hands in your finances. Change in, from now, from this time, this year, this month, in Jesus' name. Let the power of God to change hand of wealthy in the mighty name of Jesus. Every serpent and scorpion of poverty in your life, let it die completely from your life in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command I command to refuse I command you to refuse to eat the bread of sorrow. I command you to refuse to eat the bread of sorrow. You know some people, they eat the bread of sorrow. When they eat the bread of sorrow, they are so sorrowful. They are always very sad because they have eaten the bread of sorrow. Any bread of sorrow from the kingdom of darkness feeding you, let it be furnished. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. The enemy will not drag your finances to the ground in Jesus' name. Lord, advertise your wealth and power in your life in Jesus' name. Let God advertise your wealth and power in the name of Jesus. Let promotion in your life. Let, let promotion in your life. Let God promote you because promotion comes from heaven. Promotion does not come from the West. Promotion does not come from anywhere. It comes from heaven in the name of Jesus. You will pursue and overtake your enemies and recover all of your wealth from them in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will direct your hands and to prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil rearrangement of prosperity, I command them to be dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes. God, we thank you, Father. Let us thank giant occupying your promised land. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Strong man of poverty in your life, I command them to, to fall down and die. Every satanic covenant in your life, satanic covenant, satanic strong man in your life, of, of, in your life, let them fall down and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of famine and anger will not locate you 2017 in Jesus' name. Every spirit of famine and anger will not locate you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remove your name from the book of poverty. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be in the, that book of poverty. You will be the book of wealthy. You will be then the book of counting worthy. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will flow in the wealthy. In the mighty name of Jesus. 2017. It's a here that you are the one to flow with the wealthy you will be loving you will walk and you feel that you are you are you are happy you will not be thinking what you are going to eat what you are going to wear what you are going to to drive what how, how you are going to get uh, 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 your gas you it, that is not your portion you the gas will have full tank every time you need the gas in the mighty name of jesus lord i thank you in the mighty name of jesus every power uh, reinforcing poverty against you i command them to lose their hold and die in no one will force wealthy uh, 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 poverty in your life in jesus name i bind them i bind them i destroy them in the name of jesus the leeches of the gentiles shall come to you the riches of the Gentile will be transferred in the mighty name of Jesus. The riches of your, your the riches of the Gentile will be transferred in Jesus' name. Let divine mag magnet mag magnet of prosperity be planted into your hands. Let divine let divine magnets of prosperity be planted into your hands. You know when magnet prosperity has been planted in your hand, you can sell anything, anything, anything. People will buy. You see people sell anything and people they hold that they hold that and even they don't they don't they don't even have any they don't have anything to do with it. You can see people selling even garbage. You can buy 
people are queuing, people are running for that because they have magnet of prosperity. Let that magnet of, pros uh, of prosperity to fall upon your hands. That's why you need the deliverance of your hand. If you have, if you have not been prayed for deliverance, call me. I will pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will take over the wealth of the sinners in the mighty name of Jesus. You will recover the steering wheel of wealthy from the hands of the evil diviners in Jesus' name. You will recover the steering wheel of your, your of, of wealthy from the hands of the evil diviners. You will take their steering, not them to, to, to start uh, driving you. You will take their steering, the wheel in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Refuse to be to, to lock the door of your blessing against yourself. Refuse to lock the blessings of your, your the blessings of, uh, refuse to lock the door of your blessings by yourself. Refuse to lock the door of your blessings by yourself. You lock the doors of your blessings because of doubting, because you don't want to do the will of God. Remember, uh, it is the power of God to, for you to make you wealth. Don't refuse to lock the door of your blessings by yourself. That's the correct. Yes, refuse. Don't lock. If, if, as we said, we go together. You are a part of our family. We, you are covered. We are flowing together. And you, you are separate. You are wandering from place to place. You don't have a spiritual mother. You don't have a spiritual father. You don't have a spiritual church where you, you run to. You have been all over uh, Periscope, all, all over the internet. Then the devil placed to you a, 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 false, uh, a false prophet, a witch, who will destroy your life? Then your life go to square one. Don't don't close the door by your uh, the blessings by yourself. This woman who is talking to you, this prophet who is talking to you, is a woman of God and have been sent to you by God to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, let the Lord revive your blessings. Let Lord return your stolen blessings. Lord return God. Let God send His angels to bring you blessings. Let everything that has, that that need to change in your life to bring to blessings to change in Jesus' name. Let, let God revive you. Let God reveal to you the keys of prosperity. Let God reveal to you the keys of prosperity. Let God bless on you the key of, pros, of prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name, every power sitting on your way. I command them to fall down and die. Every power sitting on your wealthy, let them fall down and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank God. I bless God. I give God all the glory and the honor. My Father and my God, I cover this prayer with the with the fire of God. I cover this prayer with the precious blood. I cover this prayer with the Holy Ghost fire. I cover this prayer with the precious blood. No one will be attacked because of this prayer. No one will be, no one will take this prayer for fun, for mocking, for evil in Jesus name. My father and my God, when people listen this video, when people listen this message, Lord bless them. Release your blessings to them. Release their prosperity. Transfer their wealthy to, to their hands, God. I pray that God, my Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, as your people beginning this year, 2017, Father, transfer their wealthy. Those who are looking for wealthy, those who are looking for healthy, those who are suffering, who are being sick and being tormented, Lord, heal them. Lord, heal them and prosper them. My God, I pray that God, who have sinned against you, that are living in guilt, God forgive them. Forgive them, my God, my Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Any witch and wizard attacking you, attacking your prosperity, they shall die. They shall not prosper. Don't worry about them. They will not go anywhere. As long as you are connected, God will protect you. God will protect your prosperity. God will protect your job. God will protect your work in the mighty name of Jesus. God will protect your children. This year, God is going to bless children. Your children will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy any power that is working against you, that is oppressing you, oppression of the enemy, I command you to die in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that being connected with our ministry, God will help you. God of Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry is there and he will help you. You will be delivered by fire, by thunder in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi saying bye-bye to you. Bye-bye.
Bye bye once again and happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. I am going, I'm not going to be in Paris for a lot of time. I need to have my little break. And today we don't have any prayer. We'll start Babcon tomorrow. And from there we'll see what will happen in 2017. So today we don't have any prayer. So don't call me. We don't have 9, 9 p.m. prayer. We don't have 9 p.m. prayer. Go home and enjoy. Go and, 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 and have fun with your family. We don't have prayer. We have been doing almost one month prayer. We have so much. I have so much prayer. So go and enjoy yourself. Happy, 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 happy new year once again. And you, if you want me to pray for you, we'll, I will start taking prayers tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be praying for you. Deliverance. I will be building halters. I will taking your first fruit offering. You, you, you give your tithe and offering. I will start taking them as from tomorrow. So today, uh, I, I thank. I have so many message of Happy New Year. People are wishing me, you know, all over the world. If I've not respond to you, don't worry. I love you so much, and I'm wishing you Happy Happy New Year. And I will come to you. Thank you, thank you. I my 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 email is full. Uh, WhatsApp is full everywhere. It's full. It's full. Even my my phone is almost to, to, to break. So all this, I am. I say I thank you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. You are my 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 best. I love you for sure. I love you, and I'm here to help you. So if you need anything, you want me to stand with you in anything, I will help you. Our number is nine zero five. 7923798 our website is www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca our email address is overcomersdhm@gmail.com if you have pay paypal account you just go and write overcomersdhm@gmail.com just send it with the email if you want to, to do uh, email transfer, you can do that. If you want to send your money with the MoneyGram, money order, uh, check, you can do that. Call me, I will instruct you what to do. Please, I, I thank you so much, and I pray that God will help you. I am here, as from tomorrow, I will be taking you, I will be call me tomorrow, and I will be happy to minister to you. God will help you, in Jesus' name. Please, today, today evening, midnight any prayer today we don't have any prayer we need to celebrate and enjoy new year so go and enjoy yourself okay i know some people will still call <laughs> that's fine that's okay because you you, you love me so much and i love you <laughs> so have a great day have a fun day have a lovely lovely time thank you very much bye 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 <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>